Disability Bingo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank oh, you. I knew it. <laughs> oh, shoot, please. Oh, oh my God. God. Okay. So I need to so say that. What if you're What if you're not on the wheelchair? Is it, um, is it the well, have you ever been hit up with a girl? Can, can I sit on your lap? <laughs> oh, no. Yep. There you, you go. Know, the amount of times I've been asked that, it's been too frequent. What? <laughs> yeah. And then they Damn ask you, money player man. I don't know why. I don't. They always ask for money afterwards. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> B5. Can I have a go? Wait, Bingo. so does that mean. What do they mean by go? Is that like a sexual innuendo? Or is it. Or is it. Like, can, I I can I have, have a go push your chair or can I get in it? Okay, get your heads out of the gutter, guys. <laughs> it's about the chair. They want to ride the chair, not you. No, I'm kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean... Oh, Pauline, you're savage. Yeah, I'm Stop it up for Pauline, here. guys. Stop it up for Pauline. Woo! <laughs> 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 it's good thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, it's getting hot in here. Um... I, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I okay. Okay, well, we're just gonna step it up then. I won. Can you have sex? Oh, I hear it all the time. <laughs> you do. <laughs> really everyone, <laughs> everyone asks that all the time, any given day. Like <laughs> me too, especially when I was on those dating apps. To like, but does your um area work? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. like. I'm like everybody else. Hello. Yes, I even had gentlemen. Can you really call them gentlemen? Are you a virgin? Because you don't look like you probably are, but are you? I three. So it's not something someone said. Oh, I hate your wheelchair this. and pushes you without times. Yeah. Yes. It happens all the time. They even try to push my power chair, guys. I'm like, yes! oh. then, so I purposely yes! go faster. I purposely go faster so they have to catch up. Yes. With me. <laughs> when they had a step in their business and I couldn't get in, they tried to pull my power wheelchair over the step. Yeah, I was like, no. <laughs> touch my wheelchair. And I was like, what are you doing? Like, you know, if you're a person, people wouldn't just grab your arm and pull you in, you know? Like, right. So, right. I look at it in thing. You're right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right, Priya. Yeah. Okay. Um, I four. It must be nice not having to go to work. Ah! I can't stand that one! Oh, guys, that's playing into a stereotype about people with disabilities that we do not work and contribute to society. Hey, okay, number I five. I five. I'm only parking here for five minutes. Oh. Right. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Crazy. Wow, damn, you're speechless. I'm surprised. <laughs> that's, that's one of those things where, like, I will purposely be a dick about to just prove a point. <laughs> My friend got in trouble for parking non handicapped <laughs> They're like, oh, you, you're taking away valuable parking spots for non-disabled. Are you serious? <laughs> non- So yeah. she got in trouble yeah. for parking in a non-disabled spot because she's taking up a valuable non-disabled parking spot. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. That oh my gosh. Crazy. N1 says, I'm praying for you. Yeah. <laughs> All the time. So far, I've gotten them all. Wow. <laughs> well, then, bingo, bingo, bingo. <laughs> <laughs> bingo. Bingo. John, yep. we want you to, we want to hear you say it. Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> and two. It's pretty to be in a wheelchair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 
all oh, day, no. every day. Anyway, yes. G3, do you need help? Sometimes it's just like we're walking down the street and it's like, do you need help? And I'm like, do I look? I mean, maybe I look like I'm just struggling through my life, apparently, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Uh -huh. People will be like, oh, do you need help? And I don't really get mad. I'm like, no, I don't. I can do this all by myself. Like, I feel like I'm informing them. It doesn't really make me yes. mad. Yeah, that's good. I, I don't know why I get like that. It's just kind of like, if I want help, I'll ask for it. I don't know why I get mad about it, but it's just like... <laughs> well, because we're all human. We have egos and, you know, yeah. we learn mm, how so to... So true. Not sometimes. I mean, you know, sometimes I'm like that, too. I'm like, ugh this person and then I'm like uh, and then I have to be like why are you you know I have to kind of question myself why are you that or like what's the purpose behind that type of thing? yeah I know I know that's that's the trouble you can't really go there but uh, it's, hard. it's it's a hard. lot of guilt it's funny it's when I get angry then I feel guilty because then I think the person like you said is just trying to be nice it's trying to help yeah. <laughs> I mean don't get me wrong. I get mad too it's not that I don't get mad ever but but that's kind of how I kind of reprocessed it in my head. G5, I bet you get great parking. <laughs> Bingo! Now we're on to O2. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the, oh, you know X person, they're in a wheelchair too. <laughs> <laughs> I get that a lot where people are like, oh. I was in a wheelchair for three months once, or, oh, my sister uses a wheelchair too. So mm -hmm. I understand, and yeah, that happens a lot. <laughs> well, and I think it goes to show how people want so badly to relate to you, right? Um, mm -hmm. Exactly. And so it's like, how do we get them as people with disabilities to relate on a human level and not just the disability level, right? So. Yep. That's a exactly about. Well, I think it's so mentally exhausting to be a person with a disability because I feel like we're constantly having to assess scenarios. We're constantly mm -hmm. in quarantine. It's a little bit different scenario, but when we go to parties or when we go to events or when we go to things that John or you know or Priya talking about we constantly have to worry about the accessibility piece because it's never there and so I participate in a medical study at the University of Iowa where I work with young doctors who don't have experience with working with people with disabilities and they are flabbergasted by the stories I tell of being in my doctor's office and not having accessibility they're like, the one place that should be accessible would be the hospital. You would think. Exactly. Absolutely. We got to be out here, guys. We got to be out here, you know, telling people how inaccessible things are because that's how we make effective change. Every single time I go to the doctors, am I going to have to make a call or write a letter or, you know, and it just seems like it is it's exhausting. You got to yep. pick your battles, like which one is really bad. Yeah, exactly. Choose yeah. your battles. I know that um, only a few of these actually apply to my experiences. Right. Do you get? Do people ask you or say to you that you don't look disabled a lot? Yeah. Do you hear I that? Mean, most of most of the time, it's most of the time it's literally just uh, the question is, "Oh, are you okay?" Which I already know means I don't know what the hell is wrong with you, but I want to know why. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. What do yeah. you say? But, well, whenever somebody says something to me, I'm just like, oh, I have cerebral palsy. And then that's the end of the conversation. I mean, most okay. people don't know how to handle that kind of directness. I think it's a gift that you're that way. Well, you know, I think it's really interesting because each of these things in the boxes, each box is so personalized. Like we each deal with them as an individual, but how we respond it can be unique but it also um has an effect in our, on our overall community and how the world sees us and whether we you know how how we break stereotypes and you know so i think it's really interesting how 
each person's reactions can be so different and how we can all relate to it. They're like, we're, like that's what I love about this community is that we can, yeah. we can just like let our hair down and not have to be like, have to explain everything, right? We know, yes. we can totally get it. We get each other yes. um, and we can like but learn. I have quarantine other. hair, so don't judge me. <laughs> I love it. Right. Yes. Quarantine hair looks great, girl. <laughs> right? I love it. I mean, hands down, the one that has always made me crack up laughing is, yeah. can you ha can you have sex? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I lost my leg. They didn't sew my vagina shut. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. how, how does losing a limb apply to apply to sex? I just think that's so funny. You know, the unfortunate thing is, I think that there is an innate <laughs> opinion around the able-bodied <laughs> folks that for some reason disability equates undesirable or unattractive and so i don't necessarily think that they're like oh my god you lost your leg so your vagina doesn't work i think it literally in their heads although i mean there might be some dum-dums who really think <laughs> vagina is like closed for business but I yeah. think I think really it's this idea that I wish was different and we need to keep working on that like disability means I'm unattractive or I'm undesirable or no one would ever want to be with me and so that can you have sex is them in their head trying to figure out do I find you attractive or repulsive? I don't really know. Honestly, I think that's what it is. Well, I was going to say about the staring thing, but let me just say about the sex thing is that people <laughs> do have the desire. Yeah. And we could do some moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have the desire and uh, yeah. Oh God! Okay, John. John, and I, you guys. I'm like, I'm feeling a little awkward right now. <laughs> but it's. I'm but not it's, crying. It's like a good kind of awkward and uncomfortable because, like, people like us, it, we don't really talk about this, no. and I think that it needs to. It, People need to be more open about it. And for those of you who don't know, but Ty and John are dating. So that's why I felt like we were in the middle of like subliminal messages being passed through the Zoom call. So oh my God. We gotta leave. I <laughs> love you for a great crib chat, everybody. Yes. Thanks guys. Yes, you're a lucky man, Priya says. Thank you, Priya. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Guys. We see will you guys. see you guys next bye, week. Bye, everybody. Same time, same Thank place. You. Have a wonderful week, guys. Bye, bye, Renee. Bye.